everyone knows him even my ex girlfriend knew him man i was surprised like sam altman is so famous he is like, anything he says get quoted and his interviews his podcasts are really popular now we have two great creators we have code bullet and we have three blue one brown who should we go for first we double the subscribers right let's get that off the bat if i'm not wrong 3.14 into 2 that's 6.28 <laughs> exact double it's really interesting and important about tech which can obviously be very heavy to understand like machine learning artificial intelligence but he's actually made it fun he's almost made it into a cartoon so i think that's why the engagement rate is also high because people are like hey i understand this i appreciate this yes. better growth rate in terms of subscribers yeah. we have a 5.92 to around 6.28 so that's incredible The wondrous world of technology. Every once in a while, we have a company that really changes the way we think, changes the way we live, and it can be argued that there was not too much innovation happening in the tech space. But there is one company which, at least for the past two years, it's been around for a while, mind you, but at least for the past two years has been in the market and has captured the mind share of the people. We're talking about OpenAI in this episode of Influencer Matchmaking by Thousand Faces Club. powered by philo so what happens in influencer matchmaking well we'll have two creators battle it out and we will check out the insights using inside iq to see if they are a fit for the brand in discussion the brand in discussion folks is open ai open ai is expanding they're not just restricted to chat gpt anymore they want to do business they mean business they recently teamed up with apple as well but that begs a question what about the creators how can they really get their message across to the world by obviously partnering with creators are the creators really worth it is there a match that's for us to decide and when it comes to us i will also introduce shubham on the other side shubham how's it going well it's going well open ai is you know the coolest company in my view nowadays Absolutely. sam altman is the ultimate mysterious guy from you know the tech world the tech world yeah he's the yeah. he's the new tech bro that that people are looking up to and he's uh, yeah. easily again you know he's he's become such an aspirational figure in that sense because anything he says gets quoted and you know his interviews his podcasts are really popular now so that's great but shubham two very interesting creators out there right when we think about tech we only think of the marquez type you know tech youtubers which is consumer tech but really that's not who we're talking about today because we have two incredible uh, youtubers today and we'll actually be using uh, inside iq to go through their data go through their youtube right to see if there's that's a good fit with open ai open ai as we know have been expanding and they've been on a spree uh, and are valued at god knows how many billion dollars right now but uh, who do you want to tackle first right because we have two great creators we have code bullet and we have three blue one brown Who should we go for first? Wow, what wonderful names! Yeah. First of all, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's let's go with the with the bullet bullet train with the bullet train. Okay, <laughs> then. Okay, folks, we're on the Insight IQ for Code Bullet. Uh, Shubham, right off the bat, just look at the bio. I mean, what else do I have to say? Just an idiot with a computer science degree trying his best. Amazing, and I really love the name Code Bullet and the yeah. logo as well. Oh, when yeah. I said oh. bullet. When I said bullet train, I mean I was just being facetious. But yeah. uh, code bullet is much more cool. Yeah, it yeah. is. It really is, and I really like how this bullet is just you know pursing through the you know the the data and the zeros and the ones, the binary uh, behind. So that's always fun to watch. That really the branding Shubham is on point, right? We can't say yeah. that for all creators. We've seen that on Inside IQ on influencer matchmaking. That branding it's not everybody's piece of cake for everybody. But here uh, we have a good performance happening. Yeah, it looks like you know Neo has fired a shot in the matrix. Absolutely, that it reminds me of Neo and the Matrix. That's a great point. And uh, speaking about great points, Shubham, the performance, right? A three point one four million subscribers, engagement rate. That look at that is wow. incredible, amazing. Right? What do you have to say about this? This means that people are really giving you know some attention and respect that Code Bullet deserves. He's the Lisan Al Gaib of the tech world, I guess. <laughs> this is the highest I've seen an engagement rate. Right? Yeah, creator. amazing. No, this is spectacular, and one point two five. Average views per video, folks, wow. is extremely high. Uh, let us remind you that in an inside IQ, we usually say that if it's at ten percent of your subscribers, then it's average, right? That's the mean. But if you are at literally what, Shubham, this is more than one third more of than your, you know, subscribers. That ratio which we have, average views to subscriber ratio, I think that is phenomenal, yeah. and just goes to show how I mean, people are big fans of Code Bullet. Yeah, I'm a fan too now. Yeah, yeah, Shubham. So now we have. the top content which um, interestingly is not really from the recent times right so let's not forget that code bullet is not a new creator it's been happening 2019 2019 2018 so yeah and he speaks about ai right then in 2019 so he's a seasoned professional wow i mean clearly his content is very in in terms of you know the way it looks 
it's very sure. uh, you know very consistent let's Absolutely. say in terms of colors in terms of i'm sorry but i have not consumed his content a lot comment on what he's creating or what he has been creating and what he's creating now Sure. But it's, it's really good. It's, it's really good, right? Because he has this character, Shubham, which is basically the code bullet guy. And like, you know, it's him with a, with a desktop screen as his face. And it's just like a very fun, I think also what's really interesting and important about tech, which can obviously be very heavy to understand, like machine learning, artificial intelligence is known to be quite you know, difficult and challenging because there are like, you know, loads of la- large language models, da, da, da. But he's actually made it fun. He's almost made it into a cartoon. So I think that's why the engagement rate is also high because people are like, hey, I understand this. I appreciate this. Right. So I think that I really enjoy. Right. So I think that's incredible. The comments are being analyzed, but show them the growth and the interests, the monthly subscribers, right. They have been on a good wow path you know going from 3.11 to 3.14 right so again not a huge jump that we have but it's always good you know to have even if it's you know i think 30k subscribers yeah, that you're yeah, getting yeah. it's always good to be on a on a positive uptrend or an uptick but here the likes have actually gone down which is uh, interesting to say but, the least yeah but the you know the range is not very bad like from 108k to sure. 94 it's not bad yeah. i mean yeah i think i think the feeling that i'm getting shubham with with code bullet as a creator is that he's very consistent the audience knows him right and it's it, there's not too much variance right and he's been yeah. around code bullet has been around for a while so i think that has been fun f- for me to watch right yeah, but um, that's a lesson for creators you have to be yeah, around for some time you have to be around you have to be around to with your audience build your repo with the brands build your exactly. repo you know as a person i would say you have to show absolutely. up in life absolutely yeah. let's dive into the audience itself yeah. shubham gender i'm guessing here Again, it's a guess. I'm guessing there'll be a lot more male. Like it'll be about yeah. 70 or 80 is my hunch. And audience location. Uh, you know, it, it will be mostly Western. Because I don't think creators like him are very popular in the parts where like South Asia or, you know, other parts. So, yeah. I'm putting my neck on the line that Indians won't be there. But yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, wow. 90% male, Shubham. Oh, uh, wow. Wow. Okay. That is Clearly, and I had no, I hadn't seen this beforehand, but clearly there is a very overwhelming bias of male viewers and male gender distribution. You know, the yeah. audience location as well. If you look yeah, at celebrating the, you know, the hypothesis that I just gave. You did. Think. Yeah, that's very, very true. It's literally all Western countries, right? I mean, Australia is also, I mean, Southern Hemisphere, but, but you get the drift. Yep. And India is actually, and you have uh, top 10. Yeah, India yeah. and Brazil. Brazil is there, but Brazil is there, India is there, but they're really trading behind not a very substantial number. Yeah, yeah, clearly, yeah. clearly the audience in the Western part is is something that really, are, you know, is attracted towards Code Bullet. Not so much in Southeast Asia at all, actually. Right. Uh, so it's very fun that Europe, Canada, you know, US. And you know, what? we should give, you know, credit uh, to US audience sometimes. They are consuming very you know, good quality content. Yeah. Absolutely. Whenever you come across a very good creator, you, US is always, you know, topping the charts. So US it's US is, to them, yeah. Yeah, I think, and and such a, I mean, of course, YouTube being an American product, it's such a big part of that culture, right? And okay. and definitely folks do check out this thing about YouTube becoming, you know, such a big thing for TV viewing as well. YouTube is not just restricted to mobile devices anymore, but it's yeah. also become such a great device for TV. So I can totally see a family or, you know, like a, like a boy and his mother, boy and his dad watching this content on their TV and learning. And Code Bullet is based in Australia. He's from sure. Australia, but yeah. Australia is at number four. Sure. And US is number one. So it tells you how, you know, quality oriented US audiences. Absolutely. That's a great point, actually. And and it's really good to see as well. But Shubham, we are not done with Code Bullet yet because we have our last segment, which is the audience demographics, right? And I'm guessing... Mature audience, I would say. You saying mature? Actually, I was yeah. thinking more of because of the cartoon element, because of the slightly, and of course, cartoons aren't just for kids. We know that. But I would perhaps assume that it's also, you know, the early, like the two towers. I think we will see the twin, yeah. the yeah. twin towers as it were also be shown here. But let us see how right or wrong we are. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Okay. 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 Interesting. So the 18 to 24 age. So clearly people, oh, I think the college crowd, this is, I think this is what it is. This is the college yeah. crowd. Yep. The college crowd, which is basically people who are, you know, you know, in their late teens to their early twenties, you know, people do their college, undergraduate, postgraduate. They are basically the biggest viewers. Then, of course, you have a substantial chunk from twenty-five to thirty-four, and then we keep going down, uh, you know, to eight thirty-five, forty-four, and you have we have a bunch. What are your thoughts about this? Is interesting. Yeah, this is interesting. I think uh, me not being, you know, a very let's say old content consumer of Code Bullet. 
yeah. I thought, you know, like I'll go with my age, age uh, bracket. <laughs> but clearly it has backfired it's much younger <laughs> it's much younger it's much younger than both of us and uh, yeah. it's incredible to see that there is this audience that really and i'm guessing the if i were to draw an archetype for code bullet it would be you know 18 to 24 you know they would they would be an american male perhaps or you know a british male so that's clearly yeah. there for code bullet and uh, if code bullet if you're watching this then perhaps you know your audience as well so that's great uh, but shubham on to the next creator a creator that i have also honestly followed more than code bullet because i just love their videos and their breakdowns and they really make math and computer programming i really don't have those skills in me but they make it easy they make it fun to watch as well so the next creator on our hand is three blue one brown oh, wow sounds like a french film name yeah uh, that's a good reference shout out to to the the three colors yeah yes absolutely double the subscribers right let's get that off the bat literally i think it was if i'm not wrong 3.14 into 2 uh-huh. that's 6.28 yeah. uh, right yep, totally. exact double uh, his name is grant sanderson videos here cover a variety of topics in math or jason feels like physics artificial intelligence all of those things based in the us but i was honestly expecting more views and more engagement which actually quite you know run of the mill i would say a good uh, performance because 10% you know of the subscribers yeah oh yeah which views right so i would say it's good because B- code bullets performance is so good we are sure. now looking at a person who's also creator who's also doing well because yeah. he's average engagement rate is higher than sure. the median so i mean good performance good performance good performance for sure and if you look at the top content also we have you know of stuff from 2023 uh, 2017 so again you know these two creators folks that we're covering today have been around for a while you know 5 yeah. to 6 years and that's really what shobham was also mentioning you you have to stay uh, you know for you to see the sun right it's really one of those games yeah. uh, and i'm glad that these two have stuck around uh, so that's been really interesting as well to see uh, these videos 1.69 million likes on youtube which is always wow. good to see all right going now to the growth and in interest shobham similar stories here similar yeah. stories yeah in fact a better uh, growth rate in terms of subscribers better growth rate in terms of subscribers yeah. we have you know 5.92 to around 6.28 so that's incredible and yeah, um, half a million i guess yeah 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 half yeah. a million and then we see uh, again a bit of a like so i think you know what's happening is a lot of these new folks who are coming in perhaps they're not liking yeah. their content as much as they should right so there's good acquisition but i think your your engagement of the audience also needs to be proper so that's yeah. something that's missing true true and the but, range of likes is larger here from yeah. 25k to you know 110k maybe yeah oh gosh yeah that's yeah, that's so true that's such a huge range and again you know this is the difference i think the key difference uh, which will also help us evaluate the decision you know in the last part of the episode which is that there's so much variance here right like yeah. look at this variance that we had for code bullet it wasn't that much right it really yeah, wasn't yeah. that much but there is quite a bit of variance here right okay now we're on to the audience shubham do you think we're going to repeat a code bullet here with the you know with the western bent and with the audience being male i would say less you know a number of less dominance of male males let's say yeah because it won't be as skewed as 90 and 10 okay. and in terms of i guess location it's going to be similar okay okay i think yeah it's going to be perhaps like a 75 is what i predict and location is going to be similar as well yeah i uh, might have an india here a uh, slightly above because of the math type things i might be wrong but let's see that's good yeah yeah but let us see oh wow oh my god okay. india is number 2 uh, is that number 2 folks brazil is that number 3 then you have germany canada the male and of course the, the gender ratio is in fact quite similar i uh, remember code bullet was at 90% here we have uh, 88.8% yeah. for a uh, three blue one brown 22 from the US. Shwam, this is some interesting stuff happening. Yeah, so it's, you know, I've never heard of this creator. Uh, yeah. So I'm feeling like, you know, an old person, like, <laughs> because I have India at number two and I don't even know about this creator. So it's amazing. Shows my ignorance. No, I think uh, it's it really goes to show that, you know, this is a creator who, unlike Code Bullet, by the way, yeah. has really managed to cut across and which is why I also had a hunch that, you know, and perhaps I might have seen a few Indian comments or a few Indian people, you know, right. you know, asking for solutions and whatnot, because they really did speak to their audience, speak to that cohort, which perhaps a Code Bullet really didn't connect with. Right? And of course, yeah. I mean, they have their own priorities, but clearly when it comes to three blue and one brown, we see that, you know, yeah, yeah. India's yeah. right up there. So it's good to see. It's always good to see. 
Okay, uh, last part, Shubham. We have the the audience demographics. Do you think we're going to see... I think it's going to happen. 18 to 24 still going to take the cake. Yeah. Do you think that's true? But it's not going to be as tall as, you know, yeah. like 51% it was for... Uh, Agreed. Cold so... Agreed. Be, Let us... Be around 35, I guess. 35 yeah. was a good good guess, yeah. Oh. oh. Wrong again. 43 mm. and 39. Wow. So 25, we clearly have the towers, the two towers, as it were, you know, taking the stage... And then we have, you know, all the other sort of trailing behind, but two very strong towers here, yeah. which was different again from Code Bullet, which had a very clear 18 to 24 mark. So now we're done with the Inside IQ and folks do check out Inside IQ, by the way, it's in the description and you will definitely love giving it a spin if you're an yeah. influencer marketing agency, if you're a creator, if you're just curious, do check it out. But Shubham, we have to decide our job isn't over yet, right? Because we have to describe and we have to understand and really tell our audience as to who do you think is the best bet for open AI given and of course given their product right which is a GPT given their product which is a DALI and they're expanding so much they're basically you know inked a deal with Apple which is more B2B who do you think is a good fit here? See I would say like they don't even need uh, you know creator to collaborate with. <laughs> Sama is the biggest you know egg bro he's the creator right yes, now he is. everyone knows him even yeah. you know even even my ex-girlfriend knew him man she was yeah. like at all I was surprised like Sam Altman is so famous he is right he's become yeah he's become that figure yeah so i would say you know if he keeps the mystery around him you know yeah. well maintained yeah and if they keep on dropping these unbelievable products these llms yeah. and you know other products i mean it's breathtaking what you know it is uh, open is doing man it really is and, uh, the drama surrounding them like the leadership oh happened, the succession that was, kind of that thing was that another thing altogether that was a whole saga uh, yes. and succession as you mentioned so, so they have everything, you know, all the elements, drama, mystery, cool products, one guy yeah. who's very mysterious. So I don't think they need to collaborate with anyone oh. because everyone is anyway using, uh, you know, yeah. chat GPT and the other products yeah. and making tons of videos. So sure. here it's my, let's say, controversial opinion on this episode. Okay. I don't think they need to, you know, collaborate with anyone. Interesting. Interesting. I, I mean, I, I definitely hear you. Uh, although I think given the accuracy in the in the target audience for an 18 to 24, 90% it's an audience, I would honestly go with Code Bullet here uh, if I had to pick one. And that's because let's say if tomorrow they were to do a new product or if it's just testing out like Code Bullet can just do a test of, you know, the new opening app product and, you know, the younger audience is like, oh, damn, I didn't know this existed. So I would go with Code Bullet. Not, although, of course, the numbers did impress us with uh, three blue and one brown as well. But that I found to be, of course, there was a bit of AI, but it was more math related, right? Yeah. More of that side, more physics related. So perhaps, again, there's obviously a lot of math behind all of the algorithms. We're not denying that. Yeah. But perhaps it's in the best interest for us to go with Code Bullet if we had to. Uh, but yes, I, I do absolutely hear you as well. Absolutely. But I agree with you as well because Code Bullet has that mysterious, you know, yeah. open eye kind of vibe to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct, correct. So, so I they think. They can go like the brand. I would not say the brand, but the brand mystique. Is simple. Brand mystique. No, no, that's important. That's very important to do. But folks, that's been it from this episode of Influencer Matchmaking. Let us know in the comments. You think that influencers aren't required for OpenAI, for ChatGPT? Or do you think that perhaps there can be somebody else, somebody else altogether with whom they should partner for their marketing efforts? Again, do check out Inside IQ. It's a lot of fun. We use it every week. And we also come out with videos every week. So do be subscribed to it and do check it out. And of course, let us know in the comments what you thought about this episode. We will see you next week. I'm Shivar. I'm Shubham. All right. See you. Bye-bye.